So I'd like to go over setting our reference tool and our reference height. It's going to happen simultaneously. When I touch my, when I record the length of my reference tool, it is going to also record the height at which we set it. So everything what is Z related, which is going to be my reference tool, my work offset, and all my tools are going to be in reference to this reference height, which for us is two inches off the table. So I have a reference tool in the spindle. You can have several different types. I chose a test indicator. And on this particular presetter, uh, we have stationary uh, carbide pucks on the side, and then of course the center, which is the plunger. When it's uh, plunged to zero, it's at two inches. So I am going to zero the indicator on the stationary puck. Hopefully I won't crash it. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to tenths. Take the indicator to zero. So with my indicator at zero on the reference height, we're gonna go to our control we're going to go to setup, and what we're doing here is we're setting up a tool. It just happens to be our reference tool, and our reference tool number is zero. Tool zero is our reference tool. So um, we're going to go to setup F1, tool F2. And then just like we're touching off a tool, tool offset library. However, here, this F1 is for setting the reference tool height. And we press F1, and it comes up with this window. Establish the Z reference. One, load the reference tool. We have done that. Jog to the reference position. We have, that is one inch off the table. Press F10 to save the reference. Now, we don't have a probe, so we're not going to be doing the rest of these things. So when I press F10, I'm going to save this reference height. Where the reference height's going to go is right here on Z ref. When I press F10, I'm looking for this to see if it changes any. F10, and it did, which there's nothing wrong with that changing. Matter of fact, I prefer if it changed a little bit uh, because this particular reference tool we're using, I was bending the end and around so it should be different. So our reference tool is now set. I, should, I, I cannot um, alter this reference tool until I'm done using it. So <clears throat> once the reference tool is set, I can now use the reference tool to set a work coordinate system. The one I'm going to set, see if I can get a camera over here, is gonna be on top of that piece of stock in the back here. So I'm gonna hit tool check to bring the tool up. I'm gonna jog an X. forward and Y, and now I can come down and set, in this case, this is going to be a G58 work coordinate system. Yeah, if you can get that in frame, thank you. A little too far. Okay, I'm going to go to tenths as I zero this guy out. Okay, there is zero. I can now use this reference tool to set my Z height. Now in my case, I'm gonna escape out of this tool setup window, all the way back to setup part. And the axis I'm setting, oops, part Damon, next axis is Z. Now for the job we're going to do, we have inch and a quarter stock here in which we're going to, we have a one inch final part nested inside there. So my Z0 for G58 is going to go inside my stock by an eighth of an inch. So what I do here is I put in my, in my part position, 0.125. I leave this set to tool zero so it knows I'm using my reference tool. And then I'm going to, whoops, I need to also change, sorry guys, before I hit F10, I need to go to my correct Right now I'm on G56 and I am actually setting G58. There we go. So I have the correct work coordinate system. Yep. 
You guys will set a different one. This is me setting a demo part on this machine. You guys will be using G54 for this. But anyhow, it's going to be the same. I'm going to be putting my WCS eighth inch down into my part with tool zero. So I hit F10. And when I hit F10, I look up here at my, <clears throat> my digital readout, my DRO, and I see a positive 125. And it's positive because right now, when my tool is zeroed on top of the stock, I am an eighth of an inch positive of where I want my Z zero to be. 